NASA is an independent agency of the U.S. that is responsible for civilian space program. Many people from various countries want to work in this agency, as it is titled as an impressive agency by many. On today's video, we have the some latest technology from NASA. Gen Space Rocket NASA has been developing rockets for decades and as many people know, the NASA Space Shuttle has been out of service for a long time. Since the shutdown of the Space Shuttle in 2011, new rockets have been developed by the agency. In 2018, NASA began to develop the Space Launch System which is predicted to carry 70 metric tons of equipment into the orbit. Solar Powered Technology Solar powered technology has been widely used by humans in our planet, but have you ever seen a satellite that used the same technology? NASA proposed an idea in using solar powered technology for their products in space. If this technology successfully works, NASA can significantly reduce the use of hydrogen and liquid oxygen as the fuel for their space rocket. Places for living in outer space People would think that after arriving in space, where should they live? Well, nobody wants to die just to make sure that they had arrived in space and see the Earth from a very different perspective. To answer this question, NASA has prepared a living space for their astronauts. This living space was developed under the name Deep Space Habitat. The technology used in this living space is in modular form which must be assembled and can accommodate up to 40 people with a residence time of 60 to 500 days. The living space consists of the equipment room as well as the missions and operating room where research, control and equipment repair is conducted. The rest is an activity space for groups and individuals. Laser Communication The distance between Mars to Earth is about 55 million kilometers, and this makes the communications between people on Earth and astronauts become the most important talks. Up to this day, the data transmission speed between the two planets is still at 250 kbps, which is considered impractical for most parties. Therefore, NASA conducted a communications test via laser in 2013. This research was conducted under the name Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer. 